Welcome back everyone and welcome to World of Warplanes. Good to talk to you once again. Today I'm thinking to share with you this replay uh, of F2H, the tier 9 US heavy fighter. Now what's so special about this uh, plane? It's two things. Uh, pretty damn good guns, amazing speed, but also very agile for um, for um, being heavy. You see, um, many uh, fighters they turn on a dime. On the other hand, they don't have speed and they don't have the oomph of a power to deal with uh, uh, anything. Sure. Don't get me wrong. As long as you dive down and you're fighting close to the ground you may put yourself in the dangers that some other players and bots they will focus you down the problem is that you don't need to stay close to the ground uh, the replays are kind of a buggy you don't see exactly where the hell i aim um, so that it's unfortunate it. uh, however I believe like Alaska, the best tier 9 US super heavy cruiser by far in the whole game, I put this plane, the F2H, by far the best tier 9 uh, plane overall of all them planes. I cannot come up with one weakness about this plane. Uh, it's better than tier 10 you heard me right much better than tier 10 and no matter what you face tier 8 tier 9 tier 10 you can deal with that and i very much like to say yes you can die yes there is you know a tier 1 can kill a tier 10 plane armor what armor you know what i mean however that's probably the best thing about you, you know, don't angle a damn thing there is the enemy F2H, he's uh, engaging my uh, ground target. Chaka 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 and he's gone. I slow it down, I put uh, the, the brake, you know, and I kill him. At tier 9 guys, it only takes around 5-6 seconds for full HP to go. Now I am in a little bit uh, squishy, uh, the reason I'm flying low and boost I'm boosting away to 905 kilometers an hour is because this is how the way you disengage you disengage by using your boost and speed and attitude and everything else of course the p51 it's a human I can definitely see the way I see it it's very very simple okay I kill uh, heavy and then another ground attacker EL20 uh, it's also a specialized human it's gone. So, uh, yeah, I instantly killed two uh, ground attackers and I got this one, which he's actually human. I'm not afraid of him, you know. He has two ridiculous bad guns versus a heavy. I repeat again. The P-51, it's a speed monster, but all she has is P-51, I'm talking about the Mustang P-51, it's the speed, but in this game, crap guns, and I do not fear it. Um, it's kind of uh, hard to do well and play well in a Mustang line, unfortunately, I mean, from tier 4, all the way to tier 10, you heard me right, from tier 4 all the way to tier 10, you have same freaking guns, but the biggest difference, you have, you know, more of them, but you have those uh, machines guns, you have no cannons, and of course guys, cannons makes the whole difference, you will kill your target like that, I received pretty, pretty good flame in the sky, I do like this game that it rewards you so you know exactly instantly what the hell if you're doing good or bad we are doing 8100 the bomber uh, in my team did 8600 a little better and the enemy um, f2h also have almost even better experience than me okay i chunked him down and he's a goner uh, yeah 
uh, versus a tier uh, 8 it's like playing Alaska you are facing buttloads of tier 8 ships you just shit on them literally and I mean yes they can hurt you back yes they can you know kill you as well because it's equal on uh, yeah. the shell does not bounce but the thing is uh, which makes this ship awesome it's kind of a hard for tier 8 to disengage to just fly away and just vanish or disappear it's never gonna happen uh, i am one of the fastest players in the entire game not the fastest because they are german they are even the, the big brother tier tier 10 uh, us heavy which is way 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 faster that is the fastest uh, but the thing is it's this weird combination that yes you have good guns yes you have speed but turning radio it's harmonious bad it's bad like you're flying or breaking the ear in the sky up, you know what I mean. so mm, <laughs> I receive uh, all my, you know flying I, I don't know what that did uh, why I received that particular I'm approaching 11,000 base experience. My uh, my guns are not doing the, a lot of damage, but they are uh, consistent, and that is the nicest thing about it. Consistent. And Maguire. Oh man, I received all the oh and Guardian as well. And all medals in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blast to fly this thing. It's a very modern, it's a very slick. And this is, was the uh, end of, oh lord. The, 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 the one, it was a mission that I need to have this particular uh, medal to uh, receive a badass pilot. You know, a special improved uh, pilot. Yes, captain. So, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, that was very that close. And, uh, guys, thanks. Let me know in the comment below what you think about the replay from World of War plays. Do you think they don't are any fun whatsoever? Over here, I, I literally received all damn medals. And I have uh, 13,900, the same H, uh, experience as the, uh, the tier 9 bomber, U287, which literally both of us, he bumped and, you know, kept everything and I was doing this Daka Daka win legend, more than 14,000 base experience, and yeah, I'm flying like a madman, and very high speed, there is someone behind me, so don't get me wrong, you could shoot uh, BQ. However, if you dive down, I have to go right now 1000 kilometers per hour. So, yeah, there is someone behind me, but I don't believe, believe he can catch up with my speed. That's the that's the way you disengage in world of water. And you see here, oh lord, I received bottles, and I do believe th this was this was flying uh, paling baggage. Yeah, or this one, I don't know which one, I it was a special mission, but I did receive it. So guys, let me know in the comment below what you think about World of Warplanes. I do actually enjoy to have a break sometime in World of Warship and do something different, you know. I, I kind of like it, the downside it's not so many humans, probably you're only gonna play like 2 versus 2 humans or sometimes the best case scenario 6 versus 6 uh, players and so on, so yeah, it is kind of a suck. Um, on the other hand, it's kind of a relaxing game, yeah, you're doing your stuff, you know uh, where to be, and sometimes, guys, seriously, sometimes it's just to have fun and enjoy yourself so guys thanks guys for watching and always captain's piercings and